This is an uh, ultrasound study of an 18 years old female presenting uh, with the history of weight loss and what I am seeing is the region of uh, and the region of the gallbladder I see now this is in fact the gallbladder fossa the gallbladder region where you can see that uh, there is a mass measuring approximately nine by six centimeters with a dense coarse ecogenic area that is the calcification measuring 35 millimeters within it and being identified uh, from this uh, <coughs> ecogenic area otherwise this is a small amount of lumen seen now this is a gallbladder mass this is all gallbladder otherwise gallbladder is not seen separately this is the IVC, this is the liver parenchyma, and this is the uh, right hemidiaphragm. Okay, now this is what uh, which is which I am calling as uh, or naming as gallbladder mass, and it extends up to the. Um, this is the total of the gallbladder fossa, and you can see multiple. Uh, dense coarse ecogenic area filling this uh, mass which is related to the gallbladder and in, in, in this dimension it measures the mass measures approximately 13 by 8 centimeters with multiple dense coarse ecogenic areas giving posterior shadow. So this is a case of gallbladder mass. Over now, another thing to note is that uh, you will see uh, intrahepatic bile ductectasia because of the pressure of the mass on the CBD and this common hepatic duct. These are the dilated common bile ducts. Not only this, you will see multiple uh, ecogenic cores, ecogenic areas. This is one of them with internal anechoic area, dense coarse equigenic area, solid area measuring 13, 13 by 8.7 millimeters. This is a metastatic lien. Now the metastatic liens are, are of uh, different si uh, sizes and shapes. Most of them are ecogenic with central anechoic area. Now this is the another uh, focal lane measuring <coughs> approximately <coughs> 21 by 14 millimeters with internal cystic area that is representative of an area of uh, internal degeneration and its location is uh, that it is fixed with the visceral surface of the anterior segment of the right row. Now let's see if when I go to the left row, here I am, transfer section, and you can see the number of uh, focal lions in the left lobe of the liver that are mostly ecogenic. Then See this, this is an ecogenic focal lien in the left row. Not only this, ecogenic focal lien is seen in the correct lobe. This is the left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section. This is the ecogenic area surrounded by a halo. So focal lien, now this is the correct lobe or the segment one of the liver. This one, it is bounded anteriorly by ligamentum venosum. This is the portal vein and you can see that uh, there is an approximately measuring 17 by 14.3 millimeters dense core secogenic area 
hanging from the ligamentum venosum. This is the ligamentum venosum and this ecogenic area, the focal layer, is, uh, hang, uh, is seen tied to the ligamentum venosum and is seen in the quadrate lobe of the liver or the ligament. Uh, segment 1, this is the portal vein, extra hepatic part of the portal vein. This is the focal layer, this is the left lobe of the liver. Well, this is the pancreas, there is no uh, focal lesion seen relating to the pancreas, the portal vein, you can see the IVC, the aorta, the superior enteric artery, this is the pancreatic duct, which is not dilated, keeping in view the age of the patient is 80 years of age. 1.6, it will be considered to be as normal, and this is the parent, this is the uh, pancreatic tissue. This is this is fluid in the Morrison's pouch. So no focal lesion relating to the uh, pancreas. This is the aorta. You can see the superior mesenteric artery arising from the aorta. This is the aorta, superior mesenteric artery rising from the aorta, the pancreatic head. Now, in the posterior segment of the right lobe of the liver, we see a cyst, thick wall cystic area. This, this is the thick wall cystic area seen in the uh, posterior segment of the right lobe, internal cystic. And when I move the probe, it does not change its shape. By moving the probe, it retains its circular shape. This differentiates it from the gallbladder as well. So, this is the cystic area. So, this is the thick walled cyst. See the condition of the portal vein. The portal vein is uh, is thick wall and thrombosed. We should be able to see in this region. Now these are all focal lesions that you are seeing in isolation. This is the portal vein. This is the portal vein and you can see that the lumen is full of uh, internal echoes. That is the thrombus. This is the focal lesion. So there are focal lesions in every segment of the uh, liver. You can see this is the focal lesion, this is the focal lesion, this is the focal lesion, multiple focal lesions, and there is uh, perifocal intrahepatic bile duct ectasia as well. No periotic and lymph node adenopathy is seen. Ascites is present, though minimal. So this is the cystic area that it does not relate to the kidney and is not the gallbladder because when I give a sweep to this uh, cystic area, it retains its shape. Does it relate to the kidney? Okay. Let us see that. Now the capsule of the kidney is seen intact and this uh, cystic area is not relating to the right kidney. This is the cystic area and uh, this is the capsule of the right kidney, upper pole, so it does not relate to the kidney.
discipline is not in line. And, uh, so this is the case study. Of, now this is the urinary bladder and this is the fluid in the dependent region peritoneal cavity. These are the bowel So this is a case of orbital mass with multiple focal lions in the liver of variable shape, size and echogenicity. Mostly they are echogenic with no posterior shadowing, with perifocal bilectactasia with a focal lien in the quadrant lobe of the liver as well. And uh, with the thrombose portal vein, with a cystic area within the posterior segment of the <coughs> right lobe. And this is the right hepatic vein. This is the focal lane. See the so thank you.